Raster versus Vector Graphics. Raster graphics are bitmapped images. That is to say, they are images where each dot or pixel is recorded by position and color. Pixel density is the measure of image quality, and the higher the number of pixels in a space, often called pixels per inch or dots per inch, DPI, is a measure of image resolution. The higher the resolution, the more you can zoom into the picture before it becomes pixelated. Pixelization is the jagged edge that you get on horizontal lines when you zoom in too much on a low resolution image. Obviously, images that have every pixel recorded by one or two bytes of digital code will become much larger as you increase the resolution size of the original. Image editing software that is primarily designed for photographs and high resolution image manipulation, like Photoshop and GIMP, are raster graphics applications. They work with bitmap images and layers. Their files are often saved as bitmap graphics and have the file extensions of .bmp or .psd for Photoshop. Very often, Photoshop images are saved as JPEGs. While they are also technically bitmap images, still a JPEG, using the file extension .jpg, is a compressed file. In a compressed file, the individual pixels are grouped according to colors and locations, and an algorithm is used to store this graphic using fewer bytes of data. This allows larger files to be compressed into more manageable files for transferring across network connections and as attachments to emails. There is a downside to this. Actually, there are two. The first is that in order to turn a Photoshop document into a JPEG, the image has to be flattened. This means that all of the different layer information is lost and the file only has one single layer. Although it can still be edited further and more layers added in another Photoshop application, the original changes cannot be undone. The second problem with a JPEG is the level of compression comes with a potential cost. The more you compress the file, the greater the chance of losing some part of the image or some of its quality. This is because the algorithm is lossy, i.e. it can lose data, rather than a lossless procedure. If you want to guarantee no loss of data when compressing an image, you should use the TIFF tagged information file format, which usually uses a lossless compression algorithm and the file extension .tif. Lossless compression has a trade-off, however, in that it doesn't compress the file as much as lossy. Vector graphics use a completely different method for storing data. They use an algorithm rather similar to the algorithms that are used in compression data, like JPEGs. But as the name implies, vector means they are using calculations of vectors, i.e. direction and distance based on coordinates. They can describe and define areas of an image, its color, its shading, and its shape, by using XY coordinates to describe distance, direction, and perimeters. 